Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about get row item activity using data tables. Now we'll see what is the purpose of get row item activity. By using get row item activity, we can get a value from a data row variable according to a specified value. In this session, we will learn how to get a value from a data row variable. If you see on my screen, I'm having different ways. One is by using UI path activity that is get row item. Another one data row object based on the column name and another one also data row object based on the column index. In this session that we'll see all these possibilities to fetch a value from a data row variable. Let me start with the scenario. If you see on my screen, I'm having students information that is role number, students name, class and the subject marks. Right. If I want to get the names of the students, how can I go ahead of the particular row? How can I go ahead and do that? There's a lot of ways. As I said, there's a lot of ways. One is by using get row item. Another one by using data row object based on the column name or by using column index. Without wasting time, let me switch to AirPod Studio. I have already created a sequence with the name of get row item activity. Under that, you are having Excel application scope, which opens the student mouse dot Excel file. Now the sheet one is going to be reading by using read range activity. And then I'm going to store the data table variable in the var data table. If you see the variable has been created in the data table type and the sequence and the scope is do. Now what I will do, I want to fetch a, you know, the rows of the uh, get a row item, right? How can I go ahead that after reading from sheet one, from by using read range activity and we are going to store in the data table. Now I have to go each and every row, right? For each row that we are having activity that is for each row. Now you can see under data table, under data table, you'll have for each row activity. Let's drag and drop. Now what I'm going to do now for each row that what is the input for this one? That is the output which we got it from the read range activity. That is where data table. Now, if you see over here, now I want to get a value from a data row variable, right? How can I go ahead and do that? As the first activity, as the first way that what I will do, I will go for the activity that is get row item, where it will find it under data table. Under data table, you will find get row item. If you mouse over on that, what it says, get a value from a data table variable according to a specified column. Nothing but whatever the values that we have on the value data table column, you can go ahead on column basis and you can fetch it out. Let me drag and drop onto the body. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties. Now, if you see what are the properties that we have input, that is column, that is based on the system.data.data column. Another one column index indexing. I hope uh, in several videos we have seen indexing, right? Zero, one, two, three, the columns we have given in a such a way. If you want to read it that you can go ahead and you can give the index zero, one, two, three and so on. Now column name. If you don't remember the indexes and you remember the column name, then you can go ahead and do that. And the row that is nothing but from the data table, you have been fetching each and every row, right? That row you are going to be giving over here. That is the row. Okay, from which row on which column you can see in the Excel, let us assume this is the row one, two, three and so on, right? This is the rows, row five and this is the columns, right? Column name, these are all the column names. Now you have to give the row as well as the column to get the value. You can see, let us assume if I'm having B7, seven is the row and B the column over here that is student name, you will get a visit like that. So over here also you have to give column index or the column name and the row you have to specify it from where this row is going to be getting from the uh, data table that we already were having bad data table by using for each row activity we are going to get the value into the row now i'm going to give that row over here okay now if you see the output if i got got the value row item if i got it where i have to store i will store in the output by setting a variable control k i will say output get row item. I'm just giving for the understanding purpose. Okay, this is the value where you are going to store. You can see the output in the variables that you are having output get variable item. 
right and the variable type is string and the scope is body now to display this value what are the values that have been given i have to show in the message box let me go and let me type for the message box let's drag and drop now what is the output that we have that is what we got it from the get row item right let me copy that and i'm going to the message box giving as an input okay now let me go ahead let me save it but here if you see i'm not going to give it two string because the already the variable is in string format okay now let me go ahead let me save the bot before that i need to specify any one of the value you can go ahead on the column index or column name now i will give the column index student name if you can see student name is uh, this is the student uh, that the column name is student name that's the reason i'm going to give based on the index that is 0 and 1 i will give first of all the index now let me go ahead let me give the value as 1 now let me save the bot now let me run the bot the first value is dev okay let me click on okay the second value is suresh 3 reka 4 5 and the values you can see venu hari and vamsi and so on right this is how you are going to get the row item based on the activity by using get row item now we have seen based on the column index now we will see based on the column name now let me go ahead let me give the column name over here that is student name okay now i'm not changing any value just directly i'm using the same row and now let me go ahead let me save the bot now let me run the bot now if you see the values that I got, the same values that Dev, Suresh, and so on. Now, we have seen by using getRo item activity that we have you fetched the values and we got the values from the data row available. Is there a way to get it, another way to get the same kind of values? Yes, there it is. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this getRo item and then I'm just going directly I'm going to display without using any kind of variable over here. Let me delete that variable. Now what I'm going to do that the row from the where data table that has been stored in the row, correct? Now what I'm going to do by using column name with the data row object that I'm going to show that is row of what is the name that I'm having column index. I will give it as one right to show the student right? dot to string. And I'm going to convert into two string and then I'm going to show it. So just I have removed the get row item and then I'm just going to directly give this row. What are the row I got it based on the index that is row of one that is nothing but student name which we have that I'm going to directly get into the row of one dot two string. Let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. Now if you see the same kind of output you can get also by using data row based on the column index. Now let me change it to that is that we are going to data row that is column name basis that is student name so this is the multiple ways that we are going to get it right let me go ahead let me run the bot you can see the same kind of output you can go ahead and you can get it over here also based on the data row column index and column name now there is another way also by using item keys now how can i go ahead and do that that is let me go for this one let me delete that. I'm going to show you row dot item. You can see over here, what is the difference for the row and uh, data row object and row dot item? That is, that row dot item is read only property. And now let me go ahead, let me select it. Here also that we are having column index. Let me select this column index as one. Now I'm going to convert into two string and let me run the bot. So these are all the multiple ways to fetch the you know item or a value from the data table. Now you can see the same kind of thing that you can get the same kind of output from data table from this row dot item. Now I am going to give directly with the column name that is student name. Okay. Now we will also get the same kind of data from the same row dot item. You can see the output over here Suresh Rekha and so on. As I said, to fetch a value from a data row variable, we're having a lot of ways. That is one is by using get row item, another one by using data row object, uh, that is column index base, another one column name base. Again, we're having row item also, that is based on the read only property. 
again we're having column index in the get row item as well as column name also i hope you understand how to use get row item in this tutorial thank you for watching your part tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day